Developing news out of Chevrolet, Maryland this afternoon, where police say two children are dead under suspicious circumstances. Kristen Holmes is standing by live at the scene. Kristen, what's the latest? Well, Rachel, as you can see behind me, they have taken down this crime scene, and we believe it's because PG County will be taking over this homicide investigation. Before it was Chevrolet that had been come to the scene, they were dealing, we were dealing with the Chevrolet Police Department, and now it will be Prince George's County Police. Now, what we do know is that around 2:15, officers responded to a call. We're not sure who made the call, and in this call, they were told that there were unresponsive people at this house here. Uh, in Chevrolet. So when they arrived, they found two children who were unresponsive. The children were taken to the hospital. The other one was in critical condition and now has been found, uh, has been pronounced dead. Uh, we did get a chance to talk to neighbors who said that they were completely shocked because this was such a great neighborhood. I've been living here for over four years. I feel safe in this neighborhood and all the neighbors are very friendly. So, yeah, it's a great place to, to be in, to live in. I'm very surprised, as a matter of fact, I'm just, I'm just shocked. And it's shocking, because nothing ever happens to Chevrolet. I mean, nothing. It's quiet. Chevrolet's not in the news. I moved here with my family because it's a nice area. But it's just shocking. It's devastating what happened today. And sources have told me that they believe the mother is in custody and she is the main suspect here. Now, Prince George's Police Department has not confirmed that and neither has the Chevrolet Police Department. Uh, so at this time, we are just working from those sources. And the ages of these kids is still unknown. We don't know how, how young they were. Originally, we had thought they were younger, but we don't have that confirmed. And the last thing I want to add is that one of the women we spoke to, uh, the woman that you just saw there, Kasha, told us that she had been in this home earlier in the week. And when she was there, she said everything seemed normal. It seemed great. They were catching up. Uh, they were, knew each other on a professional level and they were catching up about their lives. So, you know, a lot of developments coming in and it's a very, very tragic story here, Rachel. Still so many questions too. Thank you, Kristen.